I'm here with Pat Bagley, the brilliant cartoonist from the Salt Lake Tribune and uh, longtime contributor to our site. We syndicate Pat's cartoons nationally, and uh, we think you're just brilliant. Well, thank you. It's it's a pleasure to be associated with Kegel.com. Well, tell us uh, about drawing cartoons in Utah. It's like nowhere else in the world to do cartoons. In fact, <coughs> this afternoon, a convict in Utah is going to be he's uh, uh, going to be killed by um, firing squad. So that tells you a little bit about Utah. We're not just not quite into the 21st century, not even really into the 20th century. Very conservative. Well, you're a very liberal cartoonist surrounded by a very conservative state. It's like being Davy Crockett in the Alamo. You look out, <laughs> it's Republicans as far as the eye can see. Well, uh, how does that work then? Your, your audience, do they despise you? Well, the Salt Lake Tribune has a long history of being the counterweight to the LDS Church in the state of Utah. And the LDS Church has been <coughs> traditionally uh, the big the big dog in the state. And so if you weren't Mormon or you were a disaffected Mormon, traditionally you went to the Salt Lake Tribune. And over the years that uh, animosity, enmity has died down. Uh, but still the Tribune is more of a, I guess, progressive place for people to go. So when, when they see my cartoons it kind of fits in with uh, the, you know, Salt Lake City and, and what they expect. And Salt Lake City itself is fairly progressive. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have a wonderful style, very uh, loose, and your color is great. You want to talk about how you work? Uh, I, uh, I work on very cheap paper. You know, I spent years when I first started doing cartoons using all kinds of different pens and, and looking for the right kind of paper. And I had that paper where you put the acid down and the cross hatching would show up, you know, the old Jeff McNally stuff. And it was 15 bucks a sheet, and this is 20 years ago. Uh, but what I found for my style worked the best was a uh, 99 cent felt tip pen and typewriter paper because I do work kind of fast and loose and if I don't like what I do then I can just toss it away and not feel bad about it. Are you then you're drawing on a regular piece of of copier paper that's right with a felt pen mm -hmm. are you not even doing a sketch are you just putting the felt pen to paper and drawing straight away? Well, I get the cartoon composed pretty much like I like it, you know, a rough draft. And then I've got a light table, so I cheat, I copy myself, <laughs> and I have a little more control that way. So you've done your rough sketch on another piece of copier paper. That's right. Mm -hmm. Well, it, it, it looks like you're just, uh, it's coming right out of your hand and really quick. Well, that's good because that's what I hope it comes across as. And your so color is great. You color it on the computer and then after you've done your line art. That's right. That's right. Any uh, great uh, controversies or stories to tell us about any of your cartoons? Uh, yeah. It was in fact, it was a cartoon of the prophet. Uh, only it wasn't Muhammad, it was the Mormon prophet. Oh. <laughs> and this is some years ago. And to my knowledge, to the best of my knowledge, nobody had ever done a caricature of the living Mormon prophet. And uh, Gordon B. Hinckley had become the president of the church, and he was going around doing something that no Mormon had ever done before, who led the church, and that was to go and talk to the media. And he went on, he went on 60 Minutes, uh, he went on Larry King, uh, he was just out there. Uh, <clears throat> so I decided if he's going to be out there in the public eye, then he's fair game. So I did this cartoon with a caricature of Gordon B. Hinckley, and uh, I found out that there were any number of people who were willing to be offended on his behalf. But word got back that he saw the cartoon and he thought he looked kind of cute, so he was fine with it. <laughs> no, no thought was though. Do you have lots of problems with the Mormon Church? Um, they, they're a source of uh, uh, material. <laughs> you know, it's it's a very interesting culture. It's a very conservative culture, uh, but it's a very community-oriented culture too. You know, it's got its upside and its downside. Are there any other cartoons that have gotten a big response? Uh, yeah, there have been, and, and I'm really bad at recalling. <laughs> there was one cartoon I did years ago, and I insinuated that state workers were just getting too many days off and too many breaks, and I had a worker in his cubicle, and he was saying on the phone, you know, another holiday, geez, let me see if I can fit it into my busy schedule. And you look at his calendar, and he's got holiday, day off, you know, comp time, 
And so obviously they have a hard time fitting another holiday in schedule. And I got calls the next day, starting at 8 o'clock in the morning. And every single phone line in the newsroom was tied up until 12 o'clock. Wow. And then the calls stopped. And then they started again at 1 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> what a way to fire. I'm not making this up. <laughs> That's fun. Anything uh, on your mind about the future of editorial cartooning? Well, I listened to that radio program. Uh, there was Steve Kelly and, and uh, Matt Bors uh, were talking on public radio. And Matt Bors is a young cartoonist, 23 years old, and I think he said something that's really true, is that he has to go and promote himself with all the new media that he possibly can. You know, he tweets, uh, he does Facebook, he's got a blog, and um, I had a revel <laughs> revelation that we have to make ourselves individuals instead of being this mass of cartoonists, instead of being a herd of cartoonists, uh, you have to establish a personality. And so, um, looking down the road, I'm going to try to be doing that. And I hope the Tribune uh, supports me. You don't think you've already established your personality? You've got a very distinctive style and, and point of view. I guess I'm talking more about the technology, just making it available on, uh, uh, to more people so that they can identify myself not with necessarily a style, but also with a point of view. I, I'm surprised to hear you say that because I think that is just what you do. You're all, your work is nothing but style and point, uh, point of view. But I'm not making any money. <laughs> 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 so you need more style and more point of view. Apparently, yeah. <laughs> okay. Anything more to add? Uh, no, but uh, I'm, I'm happy to be here and good folks. And Thank you very much, Pat. Sure.